Welcome back guys. Today I just wanted to do a review on Tier 1 Concealed's new Xyphos Elite inside the waistband holster. I'll start off by showing you how it conceals on me and then I'll take the holster off and show you some cool design features. Please keep in mind some of the metrics I cover are subjected by nature so your mileage may vary. That's why I ask if you own this holster that you leave a short comment sharing your experience because obviously mine is no more valid than yours. As you can see, just with a simple t-shirt, the Xyphos Elite does a great job of concealing my Glock 48. Just for a point of reference, I'm six feet tall, about 170 pounds. I do have a pretty skinny, narrow waist, but I have no issues concealing a larger sized handgun with the Xyphos Elite. I'll now lift up my shirt so that you guys can see how well it tucks the gun into my body and I can actually adjust this holster so the gun's tucked even tighter into my body but then it affects the consistency and speed of my draw so I found a happy medium. The belt I'm wearing today is Tenacore Zero Belt. I've been using this belt for over a year now. It's by far my favorite gun belt. I've done a review on this belt along with a comparison video that includes this belt. So if you're in the market for a new gun belt, I would suggest you definitely check out those two videos. Now I will take the holster off so I can show you some other design features. I've actually only been wearing this and using this holster for the last two weeks. But I love it so much, and it's got some cool design features, so I was excited to review it. And I usually wait about three months to review a product. But the last two weeks has been so active, and I've been able to practice so much using this holster that I decided to do an early review. I feel confident that um, it'll be a good review even though I've only used it for two weeks. Now, I can't speak on the long-term durability of this holster, obviously, but knowing Tier 1 Concealed um, with their build quality, I don't foresee that being an issue at all. I think this holster will hold up for years to come. I would like to add a quick disclaimer. Tier 1 is the only company I review where I do have a connection to the company. One of my good friends works for them. But with that being said, they don't send me a bunch of free gear to review. Um, they're not any kind, they don't sponsor me or anything like that. I don't get paid from them. So I do plan on doing a fair and honest review. I just wanted to mention that before um, we really get into it. Let's continue with concealment real quick. I'll show you some features that help this holster conceal so well. One is this innovative uh, flexible wing. Um, it allows the clip to flex, which not only helps the holster conform to your body, aiding in comfort, but it also really helps to aid in concealment. And this clip is actually slightly angled. I don't know if you can see that real well on film, but this clip is angled and it's angled just to help um, increase concealability because it helps draw this side of your handgun in closer. And if you run slide mounted optics, this angled clip is really nice because sometimes the concealment claws will rotate, will over rotate the grip of your gun, forcing your optics out further away from your body. And then you end up having an issue with your slide mounted optics printing. And so it's kind of a balancing act to uh, tuck the entire gun in, and this angled clip just helps with that. Um, it's got Tier 1's Easy Adjust Claw System, which is a game changer. I'll go over some more features of that here in a minute, but it's definitely my favorite um, concealment claw on the market, that's for sure. It's got a thinner profile than the original Xyphos V2, um, that helps aid in concealment. Obviously, it's wider because of the flexible wing and clip, but it's thinner this way, which helps with concealment. And the last thing that helps is I went with one of Tier 1's foam wedges. If you're unfamiliar with what a concealment wedge does, it simply pushes against your body, tucking the entire gun 
tighter into you for better concealment. So this definitely helps with concealment, but concealment wedges also help with comfort because they're a soft foam. Um, they tend to be more comfortable than hard plastic that sometimes will dig in to your pelvis, creating an uncomfortable hot spot. Now, speaking of the wedge, I love uh, Tier 1's wedges. They come in three different widths, standard, one and a half inch wide, and two and a quarter inch. I went with the widest wedge, the two and a quarter inch wide wedge, and then each size comes in small, medium, large, or extra large, and that just uh, tells you how thick it is. This is one of their large wedges, so this is one of their thicker wedges. And I find it works really well for me. They sell their wedges individually, or you can buy a wedge kit that comes with a bunch of different wedges, which is kind of nice. Then you can try out different sizes and see what works best for you. Uh, let's move on to comfort. Obviously, it's super comfortable. The flexible wing uh, helps it to, uh, you know, hug your body better and just contours to your body better, adding in comfort, but extremely comfortable. Weapon retention is rock solid, has fully adjustable weapon retention. I will insert the gun so that you can hear that satisfying click. Very satisfying. And then I'll turn it upside down, shake it. As you can see, there's really no rattling. It holds it nice and secure. Uh, belt retention. Belt retention's great. Uh, the stability is one of my favorite features of this holster. Because the two clips are spread so far apart, it provides phenomenal stability. There's absolutely no tilting or shifting of your gun throughout the day, which just leads to a a more consistent draw and reholster process. I find that if my holster's tilting or shifting throughout the day, it can affect the consistency and speed of my draw. So I really love how wide these clips are spaced. Um, as you can see, I'm running the polymer clips that come with this holster. They're Tier 1's Easy Adjust clips. They're by far my favorite polymer clips, and they're actually the only polymer clips I use. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know how much I like the discrete carry concept clips, and I actually have a pair of those on their way, so I will be switching these clips out, and when I do so, it will only increase the concealability because the metal clips that DCC uses are actually even thinner and more low profile than the Tier 1 clips. So, but the stability I absolutely love. And I do recognize that some people actually prefer if their holster shifts and tilts a little as they sit down and bend over because they just find the whole experience is more comfortable that way. For me personally, I don't find any added comfort. I just find it, it can hinder my draw stroke. So um, I prefer my holster to be more stable. Um, for consistency as opposed to you know shifty for comfort because it's shifting doesn't really help with my comfort level personally uh, so belt retention is really good uh, versatility is good you can carry it uh, appendix or strong side I haven't had it strong side but I assume it works great in that position as well adjustability is great it's got fully adjustable ride height uh, the easy adjust clips are cool because you just need to loosen the screws a little bit and then you can slide them up and down and then you just retighten the screws which is nice. Uh, one of the game changers for me is their easy adjust claw system. You can adjust the height of the claw, which is really nice because I like my holsters to ride higher. A lot of the time, um, other concealment claws will only partially contact my belt, which affects concealment. So I, it's been a game changer for me. I absolutely love their adjustable claw because it uh, allows the belt to fully contact it, which just helps it work better. The claw also has adjustable thickness, which will adjust how much it rotates the grip into your body. It comes with four adjustable plates. I only have two on it. The first couple days I had three plates on 
on it, but it actually tucked the gun so tight into my body that it was affecting the consistency and speed of my draw. So, like I said, um, I took that off and I'm, I'm only running two of their plates. But their claw system is, is definitely my favorite claw system. As far as, um, oh, another cool feature um, is their their clips are, are actually adjustable width-wise, which is really cool. You, you rarely see that on any holsters, but you can actually remove the shock cord, take off this flexible wing, and attach the clip to these eyelets. Or you can move it in even closer and it attaches to these pre-drilled holes. Now, I've only run it in, in this configuration and that's because the flexible wing was a big selling point to me and the really wide space clips are another selling point. So it just makes no sense for me to move it in closer. But if you want to, you can, which is a really cool feature. Build quality, phenomenal. Uh, fit and finish is great. High quality materials and hardware options it comes for a bunch of different makes and models of guns you it has light bearing options um, you can choose a threaded barrel option if your gun has a threaded barrel on it uh, they offer it in in a wide variety of colors and different patterns um, tier one just does a great job with their options Lead time currently is three to four weeks. I ordered this holster four weeks ago during their pre-order uh, email offer, and I was pleasantly surprised. I received mine in two weeks, so I got mine a week or two earlier than I thought I would, which is really cool. Customer service, I haven't really had to deal with much just because I've never had an issue with their holsters, but the few questions I've had, super friendly, very knowledgeable. Cost-wise, this was a, basically almost exactly $100 with tax and shipping. Um, if you get the light, bear, if you choose one of the light bearing options, it's gonna be a little bit more, I believe. But um, yeah, it's also got three different clips. You can order the DCC clips. They were out of stock, so I just ordered them through Discrete Carry Concepts website. Um, and they also have a Ulti clip, which is designed for beltless carry. And the Ulti clip and the DCC clips are both like an extra $24 if you want those. Um, Overall, great holster. I can't recommend it enough. Um, a few of the new features on this that I wanted to mention over the original V2 is they've added these gussets um, for increased strength and durability, which is nice. So um, there's no chance of you getting a crack running alongside um, your clip where it's attached to the holster. And that is actually a very common place for Kydex holsters to crack is along the side where the clip is attached. So that's that's a, a nice new feature. Another new feature of the Elite models is they're made using an improved manufacturing process, which just allows for a more precise fit. So um, that's nice. And the third thing I wanted to mention that's different from the Xiphos V2 other than the flexible wing and the angled clip and some of the other features is um, it's got a really cool reholstering ramp. It's kind of hard to see um, for some reason, but it, it does work. And I have noticed that it does make reholstering a little more consistent and a little more easier. Um, I wouldn't say more consistent. It just makes it consistently a little more easy to reholster. But I do like the reholstering ramp that they added. It's a cool new feature. So overall, can't recommend this holster enough. I absolutely love it. If you like the looks of it, I would definitely give it a try. And hopefully this review helped. Thanks for stopping by.